The Blackout Club is a cooperative survival horror game from Question, a developer collective comprised of industry veterans whose past work includes the likes of Bioshock, Dishonored, and Thief. This is their second game since 2015's brilliantly meta The Magic Circle, and they've returned here with a markedly different experience, combining immersive sim elements with RPG-like progression on a multiplayer foundation to create a firmly unique and compelling cosmic horror experience. The game centers around up to four players from the eponymous Blackout Club, a group of teens working to expose an enigmatic underground cult that seemingly brainwash and control the adult population after dark. You'll receive a procedurally generated mission each night, sending you to investigate houses in the neighborhood or the bizarre experimental labyrinth beneath the streets known only as the maze. While the stealth genre can typically be hit or miss in terms of pacing, Blackout Club manages to strike a really great balanced flow to gameplay. You won't find yourself painstakingly waiting for enemies to complete a patrol route before you can advance, rather there's almost always a way to keep your momentum up with a bit of ingenuity. Whether it be taking advantage of the creative vertical level design to scale weatherboards and skirt rooftops, or using various tools you'll collect along the way, like firecrackers, as distractions. All the essentials you've come to expect of an immersive sim are here and rolled into a functional solid package, and there are rarely moments I felt restricted in a given situation. Not to mention you're not completely defenseless either, and can tackle enemies to the ground if you need to buy you and your buddies some time. Tackle one too many sleepers or get spotted by a drone, however, and you'll summon the attention of The Shape, a Lovecraftian, otherworldly horror who relentlessly pursues the group one at a time and can only be seen when players close their eyes. These moments are Blackout Club at its most tense, as you frantically flip between managing real-world threats and the hazy blackout state. Progression is handled via leveling up to earn points, which you then spec into major and minor powers across four different classes. While there's some obvious deeper RPG-like potential for this system, the balance is heavily skewed right now, favoring the prankster, a sort of enemy-stunning class, and leaves a little to be desired across some of the other specialities. There's also an asymmetric drop-in mode, allowing you to invade other servers as the stalker and attempt to sabotage players' mission progress, although this too is still being tweaked. As far as early access titles go, the Blackout Club is extremely promising and certainly worth your time. It's rough around the edges, as to be expected, but the core gameplay and foreboding atmosphere question of created here really is substantial enough to warrant looking past the technical flaws, even at this early stage. The Blackout Club is expected to officially release Q1 this year on PC, Xbox One and PS4, but is available now through Steam Early Access.